Hello everyone! Today I just wanted to make a really quick video to let you know that I have made some updates to the 5.8 GHz FPV frequency chart and I wanted to go over those with you really quick. So the first thing I want to say about this chart is that the overall design was not my idea. I originally saw this on an article written by Michael over at PropWash.com and that I used it as my inspiration for the chart because I really liked the way it was laid out in a very easy to understand format. And so that's why in the bottom left hand corner you'll now see the PropWash.com logo and a link to the original article that Michael wrote. So the next big change that you're going to notice in the frequency chart is the, basically the main reason for making the updates at all. And that is that DJI has come out with a new 50 megabit per second mode for their FPV system. And it uses double the frequency or du and double the bandwidth to give you a better picture. So what you can see here is that I relabeled the original DJI FPV line to say DJI 25 megabits per second, and I've added a new line that says DJI 50 megabits per second. And as you can see, the used space of the frequency spectrum that DJI is now using is 40 megahertz wide, or it's roughly double the 20 megahertz that they were using previously, and that they don't line up. Originally I thought maybe it was going to use like combine channel one and two together to make this new channel, but you can see it's it's sort of using channel a much wider version of channel two and a much wider version of channel four and a wider version of channel six. So now that you can see these laid out visually on this chart, you can use that information to help plan uh, if you're flying with other people to make sure that you're not creating extra interference for them. For example, if you've got a friend who likes to fly on race band channel two and you're flying in the 50 megabits mode on DJI, definitely don't be flying channel one. You might be fine flying channel three. Although if you're flying with other analog pilots, you're probably better off still to stick with 25 megabits per second mode. But anyway, that's really the main reason why I made an update to this frequency chart is to put those DJI 50 megabits per second channels on there. And I got this information from various Facebook groups and RC groups and uh, YouTube videos like the one from RC Shim where they did some spectrum analysis of each of the channels. And I should say, if you want a more detailed overview of how to read this chart, you can take a look at my previous video. And you can also check out the propwash.com article or the GetFPV article on FPV frequencies. And that's all I've got for now. So thanks for watching and good luck.